Thanks for staying with us. Now, a beautiful write-up by Sarah Lyell, um, published by New York Times, reads, Anyone who remembers the funeral of Diana, the Princess of Wales, in 1997 can't help being haunted by the wrenching sight of her two sons, young sons, Prince William and Harry, walking slowly behind her coffin as it made its way to Westminster Abbey. Their hands were clasped in front and their heads were bowed. Harry looked so small in his suit. That image has reverberated down the years, a ghostly reminder of the prince's traumatic childhood. And it's hovered again in the background as Prince Harry and his wife, Meghan, spoke to Oprah Winfrey on Sunday night. While the British tabloids like to cast Meghan in the villainous role of the Duchess of Windsor, the American divorcee who lured away their king in 1936 and lived with him in bitter exile, um, causing an irrepla um, irreplaceable family rift, um, sorry, irreparable family rift, Harry and Meghan seemed determined to position her instead as a letter day Diana, a woman mistreated by her in-laws more sinned against than sinning. So our question tonight is, how do you handle the pressure that comes with marrying into a highly structured family system? Now please let us hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join this conversation. Tweet at us at WayShowAfrica1 with the hashtag WayShow, or you send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 081 803 right, so I'll just call quickly for a short clip of that interview for those that haven't seen it. I'm never going to share. Um, but at the time, at the time it was awkward. I was a bit shocked. I just didn't want to be alive anymore. And that was a very clear and real and frightening constant thought. And I remember, I remember how he just cradled me and what i was seeing was history repeating itself but more perhaps or definitely far more dangerous because then you add race in and you add social media in and when i'm talking about history repeating itself i'm talking about my my mother i think she would feel very angry with how this has panned out mm -hmm. and very sad but ultimately all she'd ever all she'd ever want is for us to be happy i feel really let down because He's been through something similar. Your family cut you off? Yeah. In the first half, the first quarter of 2020. I've never blindsided my grandmother. I have too much respect for her. I had uh, three conversations with my grandmother and two conversations with my father um, before he stopped taking my calls. And then said, can you put this all in writing, what your plan is? It was only once we were married and everything started to really worsen that I came to understand that not only was I not being protected, but that they were willing to lie to protect other members of the family, but they weren't willing to tell the truth to protect me and my husband. Yeah, she did, uh, without, yeah, without question, she saved me. I would, I would, I mean, I, I think that's lovely. I would disagree. <laughs> I think he saved all of us, mm. right? He ultimately called it and was like, we've got to find a way for us, for Archie, and you made a decision that saved, well, certainly saved my life. Hmm. All right, so that's a short clip, um, like snippets of the interview. Let me take um, Jennifer's thoughts on this. When Prince, uh, when Meghan Markle was going to go into this family, I am very sure she's very aware of the family history and the family she was walking into, right? So why is this, you know, why, why did this even come up in the first place? I Her mean, leaving um, the family and, you know, and all of this happening, what do you think? So in as much as um, it has been that way in the past or there has been issues like that in the past, doesn't necessarily mean that it has to continue. And because um, she loves Harry, she's not, I don't think she was thinking about the fact that, okay, I have to stop loving Harry because he's part of the royal family. She must have believed that because I love you and I'm coming into this family, at least there should be, 
there should be, um, how do I put it, there should be love from other members of the family, even if it's not the whole family entirely. So I don't think she was expecting, oh, okay, once I'm entering, everybody has to turn against me or something like that. When it, Diana's issue happened years ago, so why is that particular thing or something relating to that still happening right now? And what Megan is going through is actually really terrible. Aside the royal family, the, the British tabloid are against her. So even if the royal family isn't saying anything to protect her, the British tabloids are bringing her down every day. Her news is out there. And guess what? Whatever they put in the tabloid are always very irrelevant. Things that are not important. Why is he there? Why are you guys always attacking her? She wears a green dress and you say, oh, this dress is not, is not fitting. Or she, she went to social place or she packed her hair in a certain way. Or she holds the umbrella in a certain way. Or her heart is not placed properly. You say something about that. And she mentioned something in this interview. She said that she wasn't being protected. But a member of the family who has committed a grave crime was protected. Mm. Prince Andrew is being, um, is being accused. accused of sexual assault, of rape, mm. of a minor for that matter. Mm -hmm. Why isn't it being published in the tabloids? Mm. Why are you coming after Megan for nothing? What has she done? Oh, okay. So I, I get you. And this is why we had to talk about this today, because we are women. But you knew this, that this, you're not marrying just anybody. Mm -hmm. You're marrying into royalty. Do you know what the structures of going into a royal home is? Not even this kind of royal home that has been there for centuries. But does that excuse Hold what on. they are doing? It's not about, nobody's excusing anything. We are coming. We started the conversation. <laughs> we are coming. But let me hear Lamis initial thought. Because you know you are going into this marriage, right? Why would you want to now come and now, it now looks like you are coming to change everything? Let me, let me hear you. Okay, my thoughts on this is, um, when they started dating, I already foresaw that something like this was going to come up because all the indices were against Megan. She's black. She was a former actress. Um, she was a, she is a divorcee. Anyway, she was anyway at that time. So all the indices were against her. So I knew, and if you have um, noticed, Particularly, if you're very conversant with the British media, they are very, very volatile. Oh, whoever. whoever they choose to pick on, they would go to any length to destroy those people, They're that person. But what I, the issue I have with Megan is she should have known that it was not going to be easy for her to just get integrated into the royal family, especially the oldest monarchy, surviving monarchy in Europe, you know? Because British people are monarchists. They carry that monarchy on their head. I think it's the only thing going for them. So I think she should have made allowance for, you know, the integration, the integration part of it. But I would also lay blame at the, uh, you know, at the full step of the royal family because they did not do enough to protect her from the tablet. Because I'm sure that it was petty that was caught constantly under the attack of the British media they would have stopped. So why did they do nothing when Megan was doing that? Okay, because so Kate, I think that was... Yeah, because Kate is the golden child. You know, Kate has always been the perfect, you know, so ideal. You, so, so you agree that there was oh, a... Oh, no. Okay, so so let me let me the tell you... The was not caught true. Let me tell you my thoughts on this, right? My thought is, the truth is, I cannot say I'm on one side, right? I'm trying to see it from a holistic angle. Same you, for me. You said something, Lamy, which is very true. That from the word go, the indices were already against her. It was clear that this was not going to be a walk in the park. So my own, uh, um, what's it called? My own, um, my own concern would, is you already knew what you were walking into, right? You know that this is how this family would eventually be like. Yes, maybe you did not really calculate it well. Maybe what you now eventually met was, uh, was much more than you thought. You couldn't handle it. Fine. Yeah. When you wanted to walk away, see me, I do not have any problem. Anything that would distort my mental health, I will run. I would not even walk away from it. 
I will fly yeah. away from it. Anything that distorts my mental health. So I am 100% in agreement that she, what they did walking away from that family was the right thing to do. Right? Walking away because anything that protects my sanity is what I would also do. The only challenge that I have now today is, why did she have to grant an interview that you know that at the end of the day, that interview would be detrimental to the, the very family that, you know, your, your own husband is coming from. I Who remember, are? Lami, yeah. Lami, you remember when we were going to talk about domestic violence and you said that even though I have been I through hell... I was going to say that. You know, I was first yes. going to say that. From even, my own experience. Yes. I'm even, also married into a very wicked family. Yes. Well, wicked family. But when we were going to talk about domestic violence, we're not even talking about family. We're just going to talk about my experience, you know, I declined to talk. That is it. Because, not because um, I'm afraid to talk. Of course, I'm a very vocal person. But I thought about what damage it would do to my children's family. Because it's going to be recorded and it's going to be there for life. You know, I didn't trust if I wasn't going to delve into it, an area I would regret in the future. Probably in the future, I might talk about it, but even at that, you still have to be guarded, you know. And I think that they were regarded in that. It just looked like they were, she was hell bent on damaging the, you know, the, the, the repetition of the people. So, uh, are, so are, let, we, are, we, let me, are we saying, are we saying, are we saying that she should have just been silent about everything that is happening no. to her in okay, the royal so family? No, you are not getting she's the point. Away, Jennifer. She's walked she's away. She's already walked away. back. They now have the life they want. Okay, so my so question... Why, what's the essence of the, of, of, thank of, you. Of, of the interview? My, my question is, what is the end game for this interview? Is the end game thank to you. be... Because, you see, let's, for, let's not forget something. Let's go back to the quotes of today. If you understand that no matter what, we must stick together as family. The end game family, would be... Family. Thank you. The end game would be for me, would be for them to realize that they've done something wrong, right? And apologize. And they all come together as one big happy family. That should be your end game. But if, if at this rate where this is going, I do not see it ending in that light. I see it more like at the end of the, the day, everybody will just scatter. Is that what you want? But she could have still be silent and everything will still scatter. How? Because as it, as it's going, they're not even protecting her as a family. I can't see any family. The only family I'm seeing there is just Harry and Meghan. That is all. They are being alienated from the royal family. Whether they no, walked they away or not. Whether, no, no. Let me, no. Whether they walked away or country. not. Whether they walked away or not. Even if they were still there, there would always be an issue before they walked away. Why did they walk away? What was the reason they walked away? It was because they were never protected from the get-go. And then this is the reason why they walked away. So there was so no protection. There was no protection whether they were walking away or not. There was a reason why they decided, oh, we don't want Jennifer, to be part of these people anymore. Jennifer, and Jennifer, that is we're not all a family. on the same page. We all, we all agree that they should have walked out for the sakes of their mental health. Yes, I but what was the basis of the interview? Mm. What was it meant to achieve? Exposure. Expose the real family. That's what expose. I'm saying. So you expose, expose them to what end? Expose, expose them. No, the thing is, I feel, I, feel, I feel like, if we're being honest, or if I'm being honest, I feel like it's because um, Harry saw what happened to his mother. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. I feel like Harry has an end game. I don't know about Meghan. I don't know what angle she's coming from. But I feel like Harry has an end game. He saw what happened to his mother. And probably he must have seen what, or maybe heard about what must have happened to other people that were in the family that we did not know of. And probably he felt, okay, you know what? I think, I think enough is enough. I think we need to put an end to this. If this continues, if it's not Megan, it's going to be someone else who is coming into the royal family. And this cycle is just, oh, it's going wait, to keep going and going. Listen, go listen, and go listen uh, let me hold on. on. Do at the rate that this is going, going, do you think at the Dana. end of the day there will even be an existing royal family? They should come Cancel it now. Really? If, it's not, if, it's, if it's not helping more, they should cancel it. The thing is, I mean, some lot of them moving. And once you move, the thing is, what they have done with this interview, it means that there is going to be a cut. Harry yeah. and the royal family, there is going to be a very big divide, a very big gap between them. So the royal family is going to be on their own. Mm. Harry and his own immediate nuclear family are going to be on their own. And that is fine. But well, they've always, they've, they, they already did That's that. not fine. 
Jennifer, that is not fine. Why isn't it fine? Why isn't it fine? Harry is an offshoot of that family, whether you like it or not. He's still rooted. Families disagree. Families disagree to agree. You cannot completely alienate your family because of a major disagreement. It is okay to agree. To no, disagree. Forget, let me tell you Family something. have disagreement. I, am, I, I understand that. Family, See, right? let me let me say something. I understand that. Yeah, I am family centric, but I have this belief that if your family is hell bent on out, if they are all if they are out to get you, then they are not your family. You don't consider them as family. You don't you necessarily. See, you don't necessarily. Exactly. I think one thing we need to understand is, you don't necessarily need blood for somebody to be considered your family. Hmm. You can meet somebody today and the person will be way more closer to you, a better family to you than your own blood has been to you for Agreed. years. Agreed. Agreed. I've seen people still, that have been, I've seen that people that doesn't have been scarred you, but that by their family. You Let's get real. Get your family. Hmm. Lami, you were going to agree. say, Lami, you were saying something about the British family that you follow. Yes. Yeah. One thing you should understand about them is that they place duty above family and she should have understood that the british monarchy is all about yeah, duty, duty the crown the crown not i'm not sure that they were really happy about what was happening but probably i would say they were a bit um how would i call it um powerless in that situation and don't powerless? forget the queen is also advancing in age <laughs> were they powerless She's also or they were just like age. a about let me, might, yes. let me let i'm me. not sure they were out to get Megan. And I just think it was, I'm not sure it was something they committed. I think it was a matter of omission. Okay, let's they so, omit let me, protect her. Let the, me bring an that's angle. That's what I would think happened. Let me bring Because in the front, if they were going to be racist, they shouldn't have even allowed Harry to marry her. At person. all, from the first because word. The queen should have said no. No. If the queen says no, that marriage will not, would not have helped. Because Harry is number six in line to the British throne. And when you are in that line between the first and the number six, you need the queen's um, approval Assent. before yes. you get married. So for her to have even as, um, um, agreed for that marriage to, 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 to happen in the first place, does this not tell you? So let me say, uh, there's an angle that I wanted us to talk about, which is the angle of how the press is milking it. People should not forget that media thrives on drama. The media, they, they look, I mean... And don't see, forget, Megan is also an actress. Uh, she knows what she's doing. TV can be boring <laughs> without drama, right? The, the media is milking all of this. Now, if you, there were some pictures I sent about how they are now pairing that it is, it is strategic that whoever is behind Megan's um, team, they are doing a great job because they have successfully put her under that image of, you know, Diana many years the after. Underdog. Yes, the underdog. Uh, uh, my in-laws are being mean to me. And that's the picture that is going around. Even up to her dressing. They say whoever are her publicists, they are doing a great job. Because even up to her dressing, it is like verbatim. The, the Oprah interview um, she did wearing the black dress was a, also a replica of almost like what um, Princess Diana wore when she also gave and broke her silence. So let us not forget that this, um, this thing, there's also the part of the media milking this situation and making sure that they you know they keep them in the news and but don't we'll take forget a Ua, that megan is an actress she's in the media she understands what publicity means she's using it to her own advantage Let's whether you like break. it or not she well, knows that family is the most popular family in the world and any controversy that surrounds them is publicity it will catch fire very soon they will release a movie we'll take a break we'll be right back